I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano was a pretty thorough rebuild. It's a 1932 Chickering, which uh, they're from they're from Boston, and Chickering was one of those pianos that uh, that really could have enjoyed the reputation, I guess, that, that Steinway enjoys, meaning meaning the the quality is just is just super high, and and it just unfortunately didn't have the same fortune going forward that Steinway had for a number of reasons that I won't get into now, but needless to say, in, in this period, going back further and, and from this period going, going forward a number of years, chickering was really a very, very high quality instrument. So this is one that, that definitely merited this level of restoration work. So uh, 1932, and from a cosmetic standpoint, I think this piano turned out beautifully. It's a gloss, kind of semi-gloss, I guess. Refinishing looks great. The keys redone. Those look really nice. This decal, that's a replica decal of what was there. That looks great. The pedals were replated. And then in here, lots of work has been done inside there. You can see the, the, the plate. This is definitely not how it looked when it came in. This was, uh, plate was redone, soundboard was refinished. You can see the bridges there, the bridges, that's a new cap. The cap is just, if you, if you look under there, you can see the seam about a half an inch down. All of those bridges are, are brand new, or bridge caps, I should say. Dampers are new, the tuning pins are new, strings are all new, and, and these, uh, these little touches here, like the, the, the screws and bolts that hold the plate down, of course, those are original that they've been polished up just because it looks good. Makes it look very clean. Okay, and uh, so this piano is actually uh, five foot three, I believe. So, so actually pretty good, pretty good size for a living room. Not so big that it monopolizes the entire room, but not so small that it that it lacks power. So let's let's listen to it. sustain and uh, very pleasing tone.
nice little piano. So I think uh, I think this piano is good is a good choice for for somebody that that wants something that's really nice, really good piano, but but not uh, not your typical kind of black and shiny or or maybe black satin piano like like these these pianos built in the in the 80s or or this one behind me. I mean built in 19 in the 60s. It looks identical to pianos that are built today, whereas this one has has some serious style to it. Kind of a 1930s throwback. That's something that I didn't really mention actually earlier in the video that I should have pointed out. Just the uh, all of these kind of finishing, nice finishes that are very unique. A lot of pianos built at this time and, and really going back into the 19th century had had these really beautiful touches that uh, that post post war pianos just kind of lack, or at least post maybe mid 60s that that, uh, that that pianos really lack. So so really cool little chickering. Thanks for watching.